buy the magazine. What? Buy the magazine. This one? Looking for something? Uh, I was, but I didn't find it. Or did I? What are you gonna do now? Call the police? No, I think I can handle this on my own. I bet you can. In case you think I stole something, Search me, please. Is this the part where the beautiful woman seduces her prey looking for information? The part I like the best. Well, it's not gonna work, you know. But as long as you're here. You said I would be safe. She's drugged. I came to a little while ago, and here we were. Well, I don't think somebody kidnapped us just to give us a massage. Hello, Connie Harper. I want you to know how disappointed I was that we were interrupted. Me too. Mr. Thorndike welcomes you. Dillard Thorndike. So that's who you work for. I do now. I was following Dr. Andres on behalf of a Japanese concern, but Mr. Thorndike made me a much better offer. He apologizes for the crudeness of the invitation. Drinks will be served on stage at 7 o'clock sharp. Did she say on stage? I wonder if they have tuxedos in every size, or they uh, just kidnap men who wear 40 long. <laughs> Can you believe this? Madame Tussaud meets the Roxy. Looks like he's gonna feed us, too. Welcome to Club Thorndike. It's very interesting. It is his place for relaxation and fun. <laughs> I'm sure that's what I'm feeling. Perhaps an hors d'oeuvre. No, thank you. Where's our host? I think I hear him now. It's a pleasure to have you in my club. Wonderful, isn't it? I love clubs. I hate crowds, though, you understand. It's the people, they tend to ruin it. But clubs are fabulous. I've seen your photograph, Doctor. And I have to tell you, I had no idea you were this tummy. Yeah, and to be able to offer my hospitality to Connie Harper. Well, this is indeed a high honor. 